as old as you feel and if you're a little bit over 60 and you feel like you're 40 and um it, you know that feel great you feel a lot happier your quality of life is a lot better got my cert theorem for like most personal trainers okay so i've been a personal trainer for four years in, in total um and my background was prior to personal training i was a manager at a at sort of having to manage quite a lot of staff and that wasn't for me the, a lot of the pressure the stress um but one thing that that i knew 100 percent was that i really had a massive passion for fitness um and i've been training since since high school doing martial arts doing um just lifting weights and i figured well if i'm if i'm doing it and i'm paying to do it i might as well make it a career and help others um lose the weight or, or whatever their goals are and just improve their lives and yeah hopefully share the same passion that i have for it and pass it on to them i got a massive passion for helping um sort of the the younger uh younger people because i, I relate to them pretty well um, but I also do enjoy training the older clients because it's very rewarding. Um, I know that they like to have a conversation. I'm, I'm kind of like someone to chat to as well as help them, keep them fit, make sure that if they um, ever had a slip or a fall that they, they're able to help themselves if no one's around. So that, that's also like a rewarding thing. So a client, she was quite overweight, came to me um, naturally looking for a personal trainer, wants to drop the pounds and She's a bit overweight, so pretty much I spent that. I went that extra mile. I gave her um, programs to do in her own time. We, I think, a few sessions, like a few weeks, we spent a bit of time in the park. Um, rest of the sessions we did in the gym, and and then I think within a month or two, she was able to drop six kgs just by just by listening, just by keeping at it, keeping persistent, um, which also made me happy. I think she kind of told me about it and was like yeah I've dropped two, uh, 6 kgs in, in these last two months. It would have to be um, a lot of compound movements, um, especially if I see people for half an hour we got to work as, try and work a lot of muscle groups at the same time because we're playing with a limited amount of time but I've always stuck between something like a pretty much to target as many muscles as I can. As long as you're moving, as long as it's not like easy we are able to do it for an hour so say something like a, a light jog we we are putting on a little bit of a pace um easiest one to think of on top of my head is is probably number one tip a, a bike ride or doing boxing where you're where you're not blowing yourself out right away but also you you're getting a heart rate going you're sweating you're probably turning red um by the end of the session you you feel like you've had a hard workout almost like training people with injuries where I go see what what they can and can't do and work around that which keeps the session more fun where um, where it makes it that not everybody's the same but now I'm even training a more more like bigger range of, of different clients and I find that quite rewarding